hey guys and welcome to my youtube channel i am amit and i hope you all are doing good so today in this video we will discuss an android interview question and this video is a part of the series android interview questions and answers and you can find the playlist link in the description below for today the question is what is the jvm overloads annotation in kotlin now let's discuss the answer first of all we must know that the best thing about the kotlin is that it is designed with the java interoperability in mind it means that the existing java code can be called from the kotlin and also the kotlin code from the java so both ways are supported as we are going to learn about the jvm overloads annotation we will focus on calling the kotlin code from the java code so let's take an example to learn this assume that we have a data class session in kotlin like this data class session name which is a string and the date which is of date type so we can create the object in kotlin like this so we can have a session one as session session one date similarly we can also have the session two here we are just passing session two we are not passing the date because we have already provided the default value for that so it is not needed but if we want to pass we can pass as i have done here in the session one so both the lines will compile as expected as for the second object it will take the default value of the date but when we want to create the objects from the java like this session session one is equal to new session session one comma new date similarly for the session two session session two is equal to new session but here we are not going to pass the date value that is because we want to use the default value so here the first line will compile but the second line will not compile as we haven't passed the date as a parameter it will give us the error as session string comma date cannot be applied to string as we know that the java doesn't support the default parameters it supports overloading and kotlin supports default parameters java does not support default parameters it supports overloading and kotlin supports default parameters so what to do now we will have to use jvm overloads annotation because it will instruct the kotlin compiler to generate overloads for the constructor that substitute the default parameters so now let's update our data class session like this so here i have highlighted the jvm overloads annotation which i have added in this so you can notice that we have used jvm overloads annotation to instruct the kotlin compiler to generate overloads for the constructor so that we can call it from the java so now if we create the object from the java like this session 1 and the session 2 in which for the session 2 we have not passed the date but it will work so because internally it will generate overloads for us and it works perfectly both the lines of the code will compile as expected as the kotlin compiler has generated the overloads and this is how we can use the jvm overloads annotation in kotlin now we know the answer to the question what is jvm overloads annotation in kotlin so that's it for now please like share comment and subscribe to my channel if you want me to create more videos on a specific question let me know in the comment section i will be happy to do it have a great learning ahead see you in the next video